toes. Okay, so some gentle back bends on the floor are good to do every day. I'll show one gentle one, not as gentle, and you can choose. So the sphinx, a little more gentle on the low back. You bring your elbows under shoulders, forearms parallel. Toes point back. This is great to help your posture, strengthen the low back, and help back flexibility. You're going to tuck the tailbone under, lift the navel to spine, shoulders back, start to curl up, lifting the sternum, the chest bone, the chin, and then hold. Feel like you're pulling the floor towards you to get some traction and the shoulders go back. The sphinx. Exhale, roll it out opposite and then crocodile, one hand over the other, forehead down, leg wide, relax. Okay, now the cobra, not as gentle. So if your back, low back has pain or you need more gentle, you might want to stay with sphinx or do the cobra, but just don't go high. So you bring your hands under shoulders, elbows in, forehead down to the ground. Tuck the tailbone under, navel to spine. Inhale, lift the nose, the chin, the sternum. Coil up slowly like a snake. Hold and breathe. Doesn't have to be high. You get back strength either way. Looking up and breathing. Called Bhujangasana in Sanskrit. When you come out, exhale, upper back, chin, nose, forehead in reverse. Make a pillow with your hands and now turn the head to the side. Let the big toes touch, heels fall away from each other and relax. Okay, release the feet, full locust, arms alongside you, chin or forehead on the ground. Tuck the tailbone under, stretch your arms back as you lift like the cobra, but now lift the legs also and hold. Extend the hands and arms back as you breathe. Exhale in reverse, release. And now interlock the fingers behind the back for co uh, full locust, but with the fingers bound to open the shoulders. Same pose, tuck the tailbone under, stretch the legs back, lift the heart. Now with the arms, with fingers interlocked, extend the arms back and hold. To come out, slowly release. You can turn the head, make a pillow with the hands, big toes touch, heels apart, relax. One more back bend, the bow. It's not gentle really at all. So if you need gentle, I'll start how you can do that. You just bring your arms alongside you, feet flexed. Gentle version. Let's all, let's just try this first anyway. Lift the heart and the thighs, arms back. Dhanurasana, the bow. Okay, not as gentle as if you could hold your feet or ankles and then come up from there. You can hold your ankles, try that. Just give you a nice quad stretch and back bend. Doesn't have to be high. When you come out, release if you could hold your toes, hug the heels to buttocks. And then bring your hands now under shoulders. You could either go into cobra, down dog, and then child's pose or cobra right to child's pose like I'll show today. And then when we eventually return to child's pose, we're going to go, not the arms forward, but classic version, back of hands by the feet, like a fetal pose called balasana. Roll 
pull the spine up slowly. And just pause, this is called the rock. You can sit comfortably on the heels, observe the breath. Okay, now the last two poses we'll do today, we're gonna do a back bend, but it's called restorative yoga. So we can hold a little longer and it's supported. We did active back bends on the floor. This is um, called the fish. So first grab from your couch. If you can grab two pillows or even three is great if you have. If not, you can use towels, fold a blanket, anything you have. And you're gonna place the pillows. If you have narrow pillows, that's fine. That might even be better. These ones are kind of wide. Two, at least two, kind of somewhat high. You may want one for the head, that'll be optional. If you get low back pain, you can put one like this under the knees. And then you're going to place this under the, not just the head, but you want it to start at the shoulder blades to create a, a back bend. If you don't want the head tilting back, use a third pillow or stagger the pillows. Okay, so see what you have and take a moment to create a supported back bend. Now, the more pillows, the bigger the bend. You don't want to hurt the back, but if you want more flexibility, this is also good for the respiratory system. You can stack up three pillows or even four. And then once you're comfortable, roll the head a little side to side. We're gonna rest here. If you wanna add a hip opener, you can bring the feet together. Legs like a diamond shape called bound angle. Baddha Konasana in the fish Matsyasana. So if you want both, feet together and the back bend, otherwise legs can stretch out. Close your eyes. We're just gonna be here about 10 breaths. Watch your breath slow, comfortable, deep breath. Or just watching the breath as is. Allow the shoulders to kind of relax and melt over the sides of the pillow. Feeling a little heart opening and lung and breath opener. And if your legs are in that diamond shape, another hip opener you can do here is to cross the legs now. It's called Sukhasana, the easy pose, but we're laying down. So legs crossed, but you're still in the upper back bend. Did the legs cross now switch the legs the other way got a second side there and hold there a few breaths release when you're done by bringing the feet hip width apart. And if you were up on those pillows, you're just going to slowly roll off them to the side. And we'll prepare our last pose. This is Viparita Parani, which is a old posture, kind of like a supported shoulder stamp, good for blood pressure and the nervous system. 
can help even with insomnia. So you're gonna you're gonna use the pillows if you have them today. So we're gonna bring the pillow, bring about one of them about an inch from the wall. The other is gonna be for your head. If you wanna go higher here, you'll stack two pillows up for the ones by the wall. But that'd just be a little harder getting in, but you can do that. And then you start by sitting up on the pillow. So you go right against the wall, kind of like a, you go, literally go right against the wall, but you're on one pillow. And then you curl to the side. So you adjust so the head is on the second pillow. Center the hips so your sacrum is on the pillow. And then elevate the legs on the wall, supported shoulder stand. You're still in the little back then. If you want to go higher, and you didn't have two pillows there yet, you could also lift the hips, then place the second pillow there. Okay, and then let your eyes close. If you have glasses, you could take them off. Arms like Shavasana, about a foot from the hips. So post-holiday, I'm teaching these restorative and gentle poses to kind of recoup the body and unwind. If you do a lot of workouts, this is also good to elevate the legs for the joints. And just close the eyes now and feel the body sink into the posture. Watch the breath, letting the muscles relax. Letting the nervous system find stillness. And we'll stay here with eyes closed, just doing a brief visualization. We're going to imagine a golden light entering the feet and toes. Could be sunlight. If you prefer a different color, just think of a healing color of light. And imagine that light filling every cell of the body from the feet into the legs, and the bones, the muscles, to the reproductive and digestive organs to the heart and lungs send the light into the spine and all the vertebrae into the neck into the skull and face and scalp into the brain send the light imagine that light filling into the heart into the arms shoulders hands and all ten fingers feel like you're holding in your palms a ball of golden healing light and just imagine your body's nothing but golden light healing light healing and you can Imagine if you have any areas of the body that need healing, you can send that light there, spend a little extra time there.
can stay with that longer or in the pose longer if you like. If you are ready to come out though, start to bend the knees to the chest. If you're up on a few pillows, just know you're a few inches up. So slowly roll to the side, back to fetal pose. And then just slowly push off the hands. We're gonna return sitting upright to ease back to the day. You could sit on that pillow you were just on, back to, we'll come to cross-legged just briefly, just for a moment of stillness. Thumb to first finger, eyes closed. Focus at the heart or the brow point. Feel the benefits of your practice. And I sometimes like to affirm at the end when we're most receptive, you can silently repeat, I am healthy, I am energized, I am peaceful. Make up your own, I am balanced. All is well. And palms to prayer, namaste. It's like a gentle healing practice of yoga and called restorative yoga when you um, do the poses with props supportive, but you can hold longer and get really wonderful relief for the back and posture. It's also good from, for when you're sitting at the desk all day to keep the uh, back bends. We did active and um, passive, both are good. So namaste means my truth honors your truth. Namaste.